Hello guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. So today we're going to be doing what signs will you see before meeting the one? So we have group number one with pyrite, group number two with aura quartz, titanium covered, and we have group number three with selenite. So if you would like to choose your group and let's see what signs and synchronicities are coming for you when meeting the one. So let's start off with group number one with the pyrite. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So with pyrite, I feel like with the signs that you will see are mainly going to be to do with your mental clarity, okay? So just going off of the crystal, this is all about mental clarity. It's also good for helping with asthma and bronchitis, which is around the lung area, which is also to do with the heart. So you would have healed a lot of your heart area. You would also have cleared a lot of men mental blockage. So this can be to do with mental health issues. This can be, not to say you won't meet the one if you have mental health issues, but basically you would have gotten over a lot of kind of obstacles in terms of your mental health. And also this is to do with um, kind of channeling messages. I feel like you would channel quite a few messages before this person comes in or when you're around this person, okay? So let's see what signs and synchronicities we have when you meet this person. We have, oh my God, synchronicity. That is so funny. <laughs> oh my God, and it's purple. That's amazing. Like these back of these cards are purple and this, oh my God, amazing. Spiritual partnership. I am so excited for this group, oh my God. Value your self-worth and hematite, mental strength. What did I just say? Oh my God, this is a good day for me. <laughs> Jeez, okay, perfect. All right, let's have a look at more of your cards. Let's move these guys up. Okay, we have time to take action. Body movement, look inside yourself, manifestation, transformation and change, and completion. Beautiful, so I'm gonna move these two so that this is kind of like up here. No, they don't want me to, okay. <laughs> okay, so in terms of what I literally just said, I'm literally just clarifying what I just said, which is amazing, I love it when that happens. So, um, I feel like I'm being so vain when I say stuff like that, but I uh, see so like the purple here with this gorgeous kind of like wormhole storm situation that's kind of happening. That's the transformation and change that's going on, okay? And for you guys, I feel like you're really gonna go, go you're really gonna go through a massive completion, okay? So for group number one, I feel like your number is number one and number nine. That'll be what you're gonna see when you meet this person. And I feel like you're gonna see a lot of butterflies and specific, specifically colorful ones, possibly purple butterflies as well, and orange and yellow I'm seeing. Uh, and possibly blue as well. And cats, I feel like, are gonna be a good omen for you. And I definitely feel like you're gonna go for, as I say, a massive completion, okay? And it's gonna help you to manifest this person into being. So we have two cards that are pretty much the same color, which are look inside yourself and manifestations. This, what this is telling me is the more you look inside yourself, the more you're gonna manifest this person, okay? The more you look and have <clears throat> you work on your mentality, your mental strength, your mental health. That's really, really going to help you, okay? So I feel like you're going to be moving your body a lot more as well. You're going to possibly be exercising more, possibly going to a club, like a yoga club, dance club, that sort of thing. Just kind of any sort of... Um, you're going to be basically just moving your body more, whatever that means to you. Can mean yoga, f um, tai chi... You know, all that jazz. Could even be just going for a walk, you know? Just anything simple like that. Um, I definitely feel like you're going to be valuing yourself much, much more. Like, it's almost going to be like, I'm not going to deal with any other person until this person comes along, you know? I'm not going to kind of sacrifice myself for anybody else because I'm a really, really precious gem and I deserve to be treated like one. And I feel like you're really going to value your self-worth. Not that I'm saying you're not valuing it already, but I feel like you'll have... You almost recognise it. So if you've already got this already, guys, like honestly, I won't say girls. Maybe a lot of girls are watching this right now. Um, I know that a lot of the audience's watches pick cards are female, but obviously no hate to the males. Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be really concentrating on your mental health. I feel like that's going to be so, so prominent. And as I said, um, this crystal of pyrite is all about mental strength. It's all about 
stability, agility, confidence, masculine power. So all of that jazz, okay? Um, and I feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to work on your root chakra, whatever that means to you. It can be meditating, going outside, as I say, walking, going out in nature, um, all of that, all that kind of jazz. And I think I want to read from the book for this card as well, just to give you guys a little bit more insight. Um, I feel like you're going to be moving a lot more in terms of like, you're going to be quite, you're going to be more assertive. And this, this crystal is all about assertive. Like it's all about like being assertive, like ass assertion. I don't know what the word is, but being assertive. So you're really going to kind of push yourself more. You're going to bring yourself more into situations that may make you a little bit uncomfortable. Can be, but you can be like, do you know what? I might be my person, you know? Um, and I feel like you're going to take action in terms of this person. Like you'll know. When, the, when it's time to take action. So as I said, you're gonna get a lot of synchronicities, uh, which is pretty much what this reading is about. And you're gonna have, this partnership is gonna be extremely spiritual, okay? Um, it's gonna be somebody who really, really matches your vibration, somebody who is pretty much the same as you, possibly a similar star sign as well. I'm getting a lot of water signs from this group for some reason. Okay, so now I want to read from the book and then I'll get some charms out for you guys and we're going to have a look at your charms. Sometimes it's really good to read from the book because then you can get some just some extra in information. So we have hematite, mental strength, root chakra, number 19. That also accounts to number 10, which is completion. Okay, guys? Um, I think there's any other numbers. Yeah, 9, 10, 1. Yeah, because we've got 9... 9, 10 and 1 are very good numbers for you. It's time for you to ground your energy. You need to recenter yourself to regain balance in your life. Take time today to care for your mental and physical health. When your physical body is healthy, your spirit is healthy and everything comes into equilibrium. It is very important... <coughs> excuse me, guys. <coughs> throat chakra. It is very important for you to have balance in your life. You can achieve this by focusing on what is important to you. What do you like to do? What brings you most joy? Alleviate stress by consciously choosing to have more fun, get creative and be active. Think outside of the box, try different things and enjoy new experiences. If you have a tendency to overthink things at the moment, take a moment to relax and see if you can look at the situation from a different point of view. Once you decide what you want to do, stand firm in your beliefs. Know that you are very powerful. You can use your positive energy to help, heal and inspire others. Hematite is associated with the root chakra and is known as the stone of the mind. To help ground yourself, you may like to wear a hematite bracelet or have a hematite crystal in your pocket. Okay, guys, so funnily enough, I always do my readings with my hematite bracelet, which I actually haven't got on today, which is this one here. And it's a gorgeous, like, dark black metallic kind of material. It's so gorgeous. It's actually a Scorpio crystal as well, and I'm a Scorpio, so matches me pretty well. So let's have a look at your uh, charms. Let's see what charms are coming through. What are the signs is group number one going to get when meeting their person? Okay. <clears throat> so we have D, K, Z. <clears throat> sorry, guys. I'm getting the letter, like, I'm getting, sorry, I'm getting the word Zeke. Like, I'm getting the name Zeke. So I'm not sure if that means anything for anybody possibly tom louis um i'm getting marion or wallace yeah okay i'm getting i'm getting the name wiener <laughs> so maybe some of you guys are called wiener because you know it means different things in different languages so um i'm getting watford as well whatever that means to you guys so if some of you are from London in Watford, that would be that. Okay, so this is definitely somebody who looks like you, okay? Normally soulmates do look like each other, or twin flames do look like each other. Um, and I feel like for you guys, what's, why is there two... Oh, okay, so two parts of you are going to come together when you meet this person. Um, so the word Sunday and Thursday is going to be prominent for you, and also you can meet this person on a Sunday or a Thursday. Um, <clears throat> they could be a traveller, they could also be from France or Paris or want to go to Paris. Um, we also have the seahorse here, so they could easily be a water sign. 
and they're gonna make you feel very, very lucky. You're gonna feel absolutely transformed, as I said, from this card here, transformation and change. You're gonna feel absolutely transformed when you meet this person, okay? So you're not gonna be the same person you were a year ago, and you're possibly gonna have dreams about this person. This is our little dream catcher. So you're possibly gonna have dreams about this person as well. Um, yeah, hope that helps, guys. So that is your reading for today. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you'd like a private reading, all the information is down below. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, comment or thumbs up, I would really, really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a lovely day, evening, night, wherever you are right now. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So for your crystal, we have the angel, not angel, <laughs> aura quartz, titanium covered. This is my one of my favourite crystals. I love aura quartz. Um, this is all about happiness. I always see this as my happiness crystal because it always makes me happy when I look at it. So I feel like for you guys, your group is going to be all about happiness and feeling really, really happy. Okay. And joyful and just general like exploration or getting like exploration kind of anything new trying new things that sort of thing so let's see what's going on we have love perfect number six we then have unakite answered prayers all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support topaz forgiveness heals time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness Rose Quartz, love, heart chakra, boom, got love twice, amazing. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. Expect powerful change. Happily ever after, light bringer. Cleansing body and spirit. Personal growth, creativity, beautiful. So I always see the yellow cards as like a really, well, my third eye is proper aching right now. Um, Oh my god, I thought that cat was eating that other cat, but it's like, it's um, cleaning it. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this. It's got the, I think that's a sign for water, isn't it? I think. So, anyway guys, so I do feel like that the signs that you'll see when meeting your person will be the number three, seven and six. I feel like you can expect an extremely powerful change within yourself, okay? I feel like love is going to feel a little bit confusing for you because I feel like for you guys this person is going to be completely different to what you're used to or it's just going to be you haven't dated in a while or you haven't met someone such with stuck, stuck, ugh, can't speak with such a strong connection in a while and you've been feeling quite stuck for a lot of you guys. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of creativity within yourself. You're going to feel more creative. This person's also going to be very, very creative. Um, you're going to have a lot of personal growth, so you're not going to be the same person you were last year, last month, last week, even yesterday. And you're going to be stepping out of your comfort zone, because you're going to be basically asserting yourself a lot more than what you would normally. Um, you're also going to be looking after your body more and your mind, okay? So this could be kind of cla like kind of clarifying the fact that you need to take time out to cleanse your body and your mind and your spirit. And... To also, I feel like you possibly may be having more baths. I feel like um, <clears throat> this person could also be a Pisces because we have like little fishes here. They could also be a water sign. I'm also feeling a lot of earth and, and do you know what? I'm feeling all the signs. <laughs> I was like air, fire and earth and I'm like that's all the signs. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I feel like you need to kind of meditate more. You're going to start meditating. You possibly could be seeing this person in meditation. But I feel like you're going to be prioritising your health over everything, okay? Obviously, that is what is the most best thing for you to do anyway. Um, I feel like you're going to see a lot more synchronicities in terms of things like flowing. So I feel like you're going to have a lot more flow. And you may actually not... So they're telling me you may actually not feel this flow. But behind the closed doors, there is flow. So this could be in the sense that there may be things that may not have worked out for you. But... The things that you wanted to work out may not have worked out, but the things you needed have worked out, okay? Which is kind of a given, but they're just what they're telling me. Basically, it's like all behind the scenes, so all the things that you wanted are coming for you, but all the things that you needed are already here, okay? So, also seeing a lot of um, healing in terms of repressed anger and it's blocking your health and happiness so i do sense as i said creativity is going to be really really good for you so the more creative you can get the better because i feel like that's really going to help you with 
or any repressed anger, any repressed kind of emotions that are kind of stuck and are brewing and possibly are being expelled and kind of being pushed onto other people. Um, you could just be feeling stuck and confused and I feel like being creative and grow growing yourself is really going to help. So possibly trying new foods, doing something you wouldn't normally do, even if it's just walking to a different shop, even if it's just going to a different shop, even if it's, I'm getting shops a lot, shopping at a different place, spending your money somewhere new. I don't know why I've said that like four times in a different, in a different way. <laughs> but I don't know, for some reason, the shopping is really like prominent for this group. I don't know why. It's like giving yourself luxuries, even if it's like the tiniest thing, like a face mask or something. Um, it's like giving yourself that kind of breathing space to do something new, even if it's just something small. Uh, mixing it up a little bit. So we have three, seven and six. Those are your numbers. Um, I also think it's much deeper than just mixing it up. It's almost like you're choosing things that really suit you. And therefore, once you've chosen that, you're going to continuously work on that. So maybe a style of meditation you like. It may be a certain walk you like doing. It may be a certain food you like eating. You're just going to find out something about yourself. And you're going to use it to keep yourself happy, which is really, really good. And you're going to work on the internal as well. So we have Lightbringer here. This is number 28, which is 10, which is completion, which is amazing, which is also 7 and 3 together. Um, what's this card? I'm just going to ask what this card is about. So I feel like you're going to be healing yourself. You're going to be giving yourself a light. I feel like you could also be working um, as a light worker. So you could be a tarot, like a medium. You could be um, a tarot reader. You could be a psychotherapist, I'm getting. Um, a massage therapist. But you're also kind of, you're downloading, is what I'm getting. You're downloading. So you could be getting downloads from spirit, but also new oh right so new light is coming into the world right now i tell you what this is a massive message okay oh so new light is coming into the world right now and you're going to be the one to receive it whoever is watching group two and you're going to be using it to conjure up newness for yourself so the light is and you're going to like use this light okay and why has this come out as a sign then? Because you're going to be seen as a lighter being. Because things are going to be taken off of you, which is really good. You're going to be releasing anger. And therefore, you're going to be a lighter being, okay? You're going to feel lighter, okay? This may not even be before you meet this person. You may feel like it's when you are with this person as well. It may be a sign that when you meet this person, you're going to feel much lighter. There's going to be like a, a, a chain that's going to be taken off of you for some reason. That's what they're telling me. Um, you're definitely going to feel a massive change within yourself, within your environment. And you may not even, like, this is what I'm saying, like, you may not even feel it. Like, it will be happening. On a spiritual level, it will be happening. But on a physical level, you may think, oh, fuck it, like, nothing's coming in. Like, I don't care. Like, nothing's working for me. But actually, there's going to be a massive change. And there's going to be something that clicks. And you're also going to be, I feel like you're going to be like, oh, something's changed today. Or something feels weird today. And then that's when you're going to meet this person, Okay. As I said, you may not know that, that there is powerful change, but you're going to feel so good after you meet this person. You're going to feel like, wow, this is amazing, okay? I just noticed that my flame is really, really small. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like you're coming to the end. I feel like, like this candle, you're coming to the end of um, an old cycle and coming into a new one, which is really, really stunning. And I love it. And just, just heal yourself, guys. The more you work on yourself, the better. And I feel like the colour purple is going to be really, really good for you as well. So let's get some charms for you for group number two. Let's see. For any of you who use charms, by the way, I'm using this, the Witch's Oracle deck, the Everyday Witch Oracle deck book, uh, box, book box, card box. It's actually very handy. Oh, they want a nice big chunk. Can get some more charms in there. Okay, did you like my sound effects, guys? <laughs> <clears throat> I also think amethyst is going to be really good. Oh, yeah, colour purple. Beautiful. That's what we got for these roses. Got the colour purple coming through. So, let's see if focus this up. Yeah, so, we've got two purple, two purple roses there. So, that's going to be a really big sign for you. Purple roses or purple flowers. We've got the dream catcher. We've got you are perfect. And we also have, but first, tea. So, this person could be... British. I always see this as my British uh, sign. So it could be a person who's British. 
Um, X D C U. Uh, sorry, it's from my little mini broomsticks I have. They always molt all the time, and they're always like, yeah. I don't know. We also have Z U. Oh, we've got two U's. It's going to be an emphasis on U as a person. E and J. Okay, so those are your letters. This person, I feel you're going to be quite, quite rich. Are you going to have like you're going to be working on your finances when you meet this person? Like quite a lot. The person could also be a water sign. You could also meet this person near water. The other film make you feel just really rich as well uh, and lucky. Definitely a water sign. You both could be water signs as well because you've got a seahorse and a fish. Um, what's this little guy here? An anchor. Yeah, they're gonna make you feel really strong and grounded. I feel you're gonna feel grounded when you meet this person. Like it's not gonna be hard when you meet them. And we also got Tuesday. <clears throat> so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading if you would like to please uh subscribe uh like and comment and i also i'm doing private readings so all my information is down below in regards to my private readings i hope you have a lovely day night wherever you are and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading to see what signs and synchronicities are coming for you when you meet the one we have the gorgeous selenite and i always see this crystal as my healing um yeah healing purging detoxifying and like relaxing crystal this is also really good for channeling messages so for you guys i feel like you're going to get a lot of messages and synchronicities probably more than the, the group two and group one actually group one i've got quite a few synchronicities so group two uh, more than group two and i feel like this is going to open your third eye as well when you meet this person you're possibly going to have your third eye open before you meet this person too okay Oh, and plenty with my background, love that. So let's see what you've got for signs and synchronicities. We have Abundance, 88. Opal, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Cinnabar, business, sacral chakra. Confidence is your key to success. New location. Peace of mind. Spirit guides, prayers and wishes, and then we also have follow your dreams and surrender. Oh, that's a big one. Damn, that's a really big card. For some reason, I just got a massive like whoosh. Like, whoa. Okay. So, wow, this card is so positive. I love it. Oh my God. Okay, so I feel like animals are definitely going to be an omen for you dragonflies are really going to be an omen for you and possibly ginger cats and sheepdog sheepdogs and doves and crows okay so just keep that in mind i'm also getting the chameleon so take that as you want i think that's the chameleon as a sign of kind of what's to come like I feel like, I mean, I got the chameleon synchronicity quite a while, like a couple of days ago, and it was like, whoa, so accurate for me. So definitely look out for a certain animal that keeps repeating itself around you. Like, that sounds really weird, repeating itself around you. Um, it could mean that, yeah, it keeps popping up in random places. It doesn't actually have to be a real animal. It can be like a picture of an animal, photograph, someone talks about an animal, that sort of thing. So look out for those signs. Um, I really feel like for you guys, you really need to listen into the signs. For some of you, I feel like you could be feeling really lackluster and kind of not like, if that's the right word, zzz, words, that I feel like cats are really good for you as well to look out for, certain cats. Um, you're feeling like you don't really care about the signs. For some, for some of you, you've been feeling like, I don't care. Like I, But for you, a lot of you, it's really important for you to surrender, okay? I know that's really hard. But for you guys, I feel like, you've really been working on like the business side of your life okay possibly your finances and just anything that's kind of sustainable you've really been working on that and i feel like it's possibly gotten you to a point where your ego is getting in the way and it's like you need this you need this you need this and actually you just need to surrender guys okay that's what's really going to help you so eight is going to be a really good number for you and the number nine one and ten okay your spirit guides are around you, giving you synchronicity, so listen out for them. Meditation is really, really good for you guys. I feel like a lot of mental, strong mental 
images are coming towards you guys like i'm feeling for this group mental mentality has been really hard for you guys i feel like you've been overthinking quite a lot or your head is just really stuck and this is so random but i'm tasting like a perfume taste so what does that mean it just means you could probably taste a perfume taste when you meet this person or you could smell like a really strong perfume obviously like a man's perfume or a women's perfume whoever you are interested in or you know either or because women can wear men's and you know men can wear women's perfume i don't know whatever so i definitely you're going to be following your dreams you're going to be going towards something that really really suits you and you need to kind of you're going to be your most authentic when you meet this person okay you're gonna like not be able to hide yourself. I feel like this person, if anything, they're a Pisces because they just see through you, okay? They don't like fakeness. Similar for Scorpios as well. Like they don't like fakeness. And a lot of signs don't really like that to be honest, but I definitely feel like that's really gonna help you, okay? Um, is to just be completely and wholly yourself. And you're gonna have a lot of peace of mind when you meet this person. So I feel like you're gonna be, the more you surrender and have peace of mind, the more this person's gonna come in. Um, you possibly could be moving to a new location and that could be a sign that you're going to meet this person um, I definitely feel like that you could also be moving to a new job department like a new department in your job and that's how you're going to meet this person um, confidence is your key to success so the more you are kind of strong connected to yourself connected to your sacral chakra your root chakra get connected grounded it's really going to help you confidence is your key um, you could also be meeting a Leo as well for some of you, only for some of you. Um, and for some of you, this person could be a water sign. Very light energy, very like, very fairy-like. So if they were going to reincarnate, they'd be a fairy. <laughs> or an elf. Or just something like a light, a light creature sort of thing. Um, there was something I needed to do. I don't know what it was. I can't remember. There was something I needed to say. What else, what else do I need to say? No, I don't know. It's gone. Okay, so... Sorry, guys. So for... For you guys, I'm going to pull you some charms. Let's see what charms you need. Oops. I'm messing up my display. Let's really shake this up. A nice big clump in here. Okay, good. Nice big clump. Okay, so let's see what we have. So we have Tuesday and Monday. So at the start of the week, that's when you could be going to this new location or you could just be moving or meeting this person. They're very earthy, possibly. So it could even be an earth sign. I'm seeing this green. It's like an earth sign. It's green rose. Um, we've also got a pink and an orange rose. So they could have multiple facets to their personality. Oh, we've got two green. So both of you could be possible earth signs. Hugs and kisses, they're going to be very kind of affectionate. And they're going to be sent by the angels, okay? So signs for you, let's see. We've got Sunday as well. Sunday could be the day that you mainly spend with each other. U, E, S. Uh, S, so they could have the letter S or S like for Sunday. M or W and we also have sorry guys I can't really see what I'm doing we have O as well and um, they could also have come out of Christianity or they could be a Christian or you could be a Christian uh, I can't really see these hang on let me have a look okay so signs money's going to be really strong for you at the time when you meet this person um or well, money could just be a prominent thing for some reason. You could even be having trouble with your money when you meet this person. They're going to make you feel like, like a kid again. And I think that's going to be really amazing. They're possibly like skateboarding as well for some of you. They, you're going to feel really lucky. You'll feel like things are going to flow more. And you're possibly going to be going to like London, Paris, Berlin. There's just a lot of like cities I'm feeling. Is Berlin a city? I'm not sure. I, uh, I think it's a city. Guys, I'm really uneducated with my geography. Um, this person's going to feel like personally to you. Like they're not going to be looking at anyone else. They're going to be looking straight at you. And yeah, straight at you. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities. Oh, opportunities. 
and they're pretty much going to fall into your lap yeah so you don't have to try to find this person they're going to come to you when you're ready and when he's he or she is ready and they're very spiritual very spiritual person so in terms of definite signs and i said number eight uh surrendering following your dreams the omens of the animals and sunday monday tuesday and i'm getting the week so whatever that means to you could be like you see the word week a lot um as in W E E K, so like next week, two weeks time, that sort of thing. I feel like no more waiting for the weeks to come. And I think that's basically what's saying is for people who haven't treated you right, they're gonna be non existent, okay? People who are saying, Oh yeah, we'll meet up next week, we'll meet up next week, like no, like this person's gonna meet up with you straight away because they really wanna be with you, okay? So thank you so much for uh, watching this reading. I really hope this helps you. And if you would like to, please subscribe, like and comment. And if you would like to get a private reading, all my information is down below. I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. And I'll speak to you very soon. Lots of love, guys. Bye.